So it's no secret uh, getting place to place can be frustrating here in the Tampa mm -hmm. Bay area, right? So let's be honest about it. There are times where you feel like you are sitting in traffic longer than you're actually driving yes, somewhere. It can be frustrating. The U.S. Census Bureau says that Florida is the third most populous state in the country. So, of course, that means more traffic, right? So one area seeing a lot of growth is south of the Skyway in Manatee and Sarasota counties. That's where 10 News reporter Isabel Mascarenas is live tonight. She's along I-75. Where is he? It's getting busy out there. It sure is. Consider this. Transportation officials estimate Sarasota and Manatee counties will grow by 300,000 people in the next 20 years. That means I-75, which as you mentioned, is already looking pretty congested, will need help to keep people moving. In a meeting that takes place once every five years, transportation officials learned there's lots to do. I'm concerned that uh, overdevelopment is going to be uh causing more growth here than the roads are going to be able to support. Representatives from 11 municipalities presented their wish list to the Metropolitan Planning Organization Board of Sarasota and Manatee Counties. From that list, the group picked three key ways to tackle those issues. First, close the gap in main roads that cross Sarasota County from east to west and north to south. Lorraine Road extends south from Manatee County but ends in Sarasota at Fruitville Road. Sarasota County officials say by extending this road further south to Clark Road, it offers an alternative route to I-75. The same applies to Honoré Road. Some officials believe it should be widened and stretched further north. Then there's this second point. How do we pay for all of this? The gas tax you pay at the pump helps pay for these road projects. That tank of money is running on empty soon. Experts say electric vehicles will outnumber cars fueled by gas in 15 years. We're going to have to change the way we get around ultimately. And then the last thing they tell us, we'll need to find other ways to get around. For example, walk more, use our bikes more, use Uber and Lyft more, and leave our cars in the driveway. As for I-75, it's moving pretty slowly this afternoon. As for I-75, FDOT will be doing a study this summer about adding express lanes with tolls, similar to the express lanes you see on I-95 on Florida's east coast. You'll be surprised. Many people are willing to pay to get there faster.